Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up your PIC-K3 with your PIC microcontroller. In this video, I'll be using PIC-16F877A. You might want to watch my previous video on setting up the development environment for PIC, as this will build on top of that. Now let's get started. The PIC-K3 has six pin programming connector that connects to the target microcontroller. Pin 1 starts just below the white pin 1 indicator. Out of the six pins, only three are significant, and you'll know why later. Pin 1 generates the programming voltage, or VPP. Pin 2 provides the target voltage, or VDD, to the circuit. Pin 3 provides the ground, or VSS, to the circuit. The programming data is on pin 4, and the programming clock is on pin 5. And for pin 6, which I won't be covering in this video, is for low voltage programming. To connect this to your MCU as an in-circuit programmer debugger, you must first identify the microcontroller pins that mirror the pins that are in PIC-K3. For the case of PIC-16F877A, we have VPP on pin 1, VDD on pins 11 and 32, VSS on pins 12 and 31, programming data or PGD on pin 40, and programming clock or PGC on pin 39. Now, we connect the pins from our PIC-K3 to its equivalent counterpart in the PIC microcontroller. I would like to emphasize here that the microcontroller should have at least a basic circuit connection to have a successful write. In this case, I added an RC circuit as my oscillator and a LED, which I will program the microcontroller to blink later. Now we go to the MPLAB XIDE to write a program to the MCU. I have a program here that will cause the LED to blink at a frequency of 1 Hz, 50% duty, which means that the status of the LED will turn on or off every 500 milliseconds. Now open the project's configuration and select PIC-K3 under the hardware tools. Make sure that PIC-K3 is already connected to the PC. Press OK to save the changes. In the IDE's toolbar, select the debug button. This will build the C program and write it to the PIC after a successful build. After the writing is done, it will then run the program. You can pause the program and try to make it run line by line by using the other button available in the debugger toolbar. As I mentioned earlier, there are six pins in the PIC-3, but only three pins are significant. In our current example, the PIC is drawing current from the PC, but if the PIC has its own power supply, the PIC-3's VDD and VSS pin will no longer be needed. The only pins connecting to your PIC will be VPP, PGD, and PGC. Also, the maximum current that can be drawn from the PIC-3 if used as a power source for your system is only 30 milliamps. So if your system draws current more than 30 milliamps, then better provide your system with its own power supply. If you have done all the steps I've shown but still can't do a debug on your PIC, then here is the troubleshooting portion. Which device are you working with? Often an upgrade to a new version of MPLAB XIDE is required to support newer devices. That is, yellow light is equal to untested support. Are you using a USB hub in your setup? Is it powered? If you continue to have problems, try using the debugger without the hub. Try plugging it directly to the PC. The oscillator may not be working. Check your configuration bit settings for the oscillator. If you are using an external oscillator, try using an internal oscillator. If you are using an internal PLL, make sure your PLL settings are correct. The device may be code protected. Check your configuration bit settings for code protection. If none of this troubleshooting information has solved your problem, please leave a comment below. Do you want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button.